Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design and today we have another Canva tutorial but this one is going to be for print and cut on the Cricut. I'm going to show you how you can print and cut your own colourful boxes as you can see here. That's what we're going to make today. All right. so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new design. Now it needs to be a custom size so we're going to be printing and cutting on our Cricut which means we need a custom size so click custom now you can see here that my recent is the one that is for the Cricut so I'm going to change this I'm going to show you how to do it change this to inches because we're going to be doing 6.75 by 9.25 create a new design and that will give us a new window and this will be the maximum area that you are going to be able to print and cut on your Cricut. So come over to elements on the left hand side and I'm going to click the lines and shapes. I'm going to choose this box. Choose the box, I'm going to click it, drag it up to this top left corner. See the little lines here on the side? I'm going to drag this right hand side one in until that little black text box says one and a half inches wide. I'm going to grab the bottom one until it says two and a half inches high. I know that this box now is going to fit in my classic vertical happy planner because that size is one and a half wide by two and a half high. Now I know what you're thinking, dye, this is purple. Click it, change the color to white. Now we have a white background, a white middle. Come over here to border style, click border. This one right now has no border, that's why it's kind of like that little purple outline around it. Click this one, this solid line. I like to change the border weight to around 10. So you get to choose what kind of width you like your little border style here to be. But again, you can also do rounded corners and just make your own rounded box until you get a little oval. I don't like those, I prefer square. Now, if you want a different color, this is where you can come in and change your color. You're just going to click this little black box here that says border color. You can hover over that. It says border color. And then you can change the color of your box. And if none of these feel like the border color that you want in the default colors, you can come up here, add a new color, and then you get to kind of play with where you want that to be and just click and figure out and drag what color you want that to be. But I'm just going to do black because black shows up nice and easily on this page. All right, so now we come up here, we've got this highlighted, highlight the box. All you're going to do is just click it. You get this little pop-up box at the top. You get the choice of duplicating it or deleting it or these three buttons for more info. Ignore that. All we need to do is duplicate. Click and drag. Now, what I could also do is control D Control D. And now what I'm gonna do is drag that bottom up until I get to one and a half by one and a half. So now I've got a square box for my vertical planner. Click it, Control D. I might do another one of those. Click it. Now this one I'm gonna move and I'm going to drag it down until it is at one inch. So now you can see that's one and a half wide by one inch high. Now you could, if you wanted to, drag it down and take it to like three quarters of an inch. You could do your little half inch. You could do some really skinny ones. But usually these are the three sizes that I use a lot of. Now what I will suggest is if you are looking at your own usage of your colorful boxes and stuff like that, which ones are you using the most? Kind of go through your sticker books See which ones you're using the most of. I know that I use mostly these big ones, the big vertical, two and a half by one and a half, and the square. Those are my most used ones, and then these like one inch ones are my next one down. I don't use many of the little skinny ones. Maybe you do, and you want to do like three or four little skinny ones along the bottom. You do you. Go through your sticker books, see which ones you use the most, and make more of those. Okay, so from here, I'm going to come up to the top left, drag, click and drag so that I highlight everything. I'm going to come over here and group. Group them all together. Again, now when I duplicate this, I duplicate everything in that group. I'm going to take that, bring it over to the right. Duplicate again, 
click and drag the whole thing because it's a big group, duplicate again, and bring it in. Now, what I'm going to do here is select everything, come over to position, horizontal, and then I'm going to space evenly, horizontally, and that will just change the space here in between the right and the third one along, and then here between the two middle ones, and then here between the left and the second one. So horizontal, and it will just change it slightly. It's a small thing, but that's what I like to do. So now I have the whole thing done. I can copy this. I can then change this one by ungrouping, and maybe this one I have some little boxes instead. I do this one a little bit differently and I just add some boxes. You know, you get to decide. You get to decide what you want to make. What sizes are you using a lot of? Again, I don't use a lot of this size, but it's this easy to make. It's this easy. And then I'm going to group all of those. Position, space evenly, vertically, and then we are good. That's, that's as easy as it is. It's just super easy, super easy to do. So I don't want this one because again, I don't like a lot of these little boxes, but you do you. So I'm gonna take this one, come up to share, click, I'm gonna click download. Now it's suggesting a PNG file. That's what I actually want. I want a PNG file. Now here's the thing. If you're doing this for Canva from your Cricut, I'm going to suggest you get the paid version and do the transparent background. Click the transparent background so that all of this, I'll just show you here. So if I click this, all of this that is in blue right now will be transparent because this box is actually white, right? This box is white with a black border, but this blue will end up as transparent. Okay, so back into download transparent background and then I'm going to download. Now this is again, it's a pro feature. It's $10 a month. It's a pro feature. So worth it. If you're just doing a bunch of these, here's the thing. If you're doing a bunch of these, pay for it for one month, create what you want and then cancel your membership. <laughs> that would be my suggestion. Make as many as you want, then cancel your membership. You do you. All right. And then you're going to click download. Now, this will download to wherever you have your downloads selected to. So make sure you know where it's downloading to. All right, and then you're gonna come into your Cricut Design Space. So open your Cricut Design Space. All right, so you're gonna come into Cricut Design Space. This is what you will see when you open it, something like this. Come up to the top right for new project, click that. And you're gonna come over to the left and to upload. Click upload. Now you can see this one is one that I've already got in here, but I'm going to add upload image. You're going to browse. I know that mine gets saved to this PC and downloads. So that's where that image just downloaded to. Click it, open it. Now you can choose, I mean, because it's a, a simple design, you can choose moderate, you can choose complex, whatever you feel that you want to choose. I generally choose moderate or complex, but you can see here where you're going to get the cut. That gray is not going to cut. That little checkerboard behind it that you can see in the kind of a lavender and white behind it, that is what is going to get cut out, these squares. So I'm going to click continue because I'm happy with that. This is the image that is going to print and then cut. Again, this gray will be white. Apply and continue. Now this is where you get the cut image or the print and cut image. I want to print and cut. So I'm going to click that. You get to choose what you're going to save it as. I'm going to put Canva boxes. Upload. Beautiful. This is the one that we've just done. Click it. Bottom right, add to canvas. Boom, there is the design that we just made in Canva. So what you will see is that Cricut decides that this is gonna be a huge bloody file. So this is 10 inches wide now and 13 inches in height. And you'll see here, it's got this little triangle warning you that you cannot print and cut this, it's too big. So check this little thing that says lock proportions. 
That means that when you change the width, you will also change the height. It'll be automatic. It'll keep the proportions of this. You want to do that. Change this to 6.75. And then that little warning thing has disappeared. It has disappeared. So now this is perfectly sized for you to print and cut. So you click make it in that top right corner and then you will get the usual little kind of print and cut thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call this, this little print and cut screen. So that is showing you what is going to print and cut. Now again, this white is not a cut image. This is a white box with a black border. The cut area is going to be down the middle here around the edges of the box. So I can click continue. As long as your Cricut is connected and it shows up here, everything is then is just following the directions on the screen. Send to printer. Everything here will be as is. I like to add a bleed so that if the cut goes a little bit awry, then it just still cuts a black, a black edge. Now you can open a system dialog. That just means that the dialog for your printer will then pop up here rather than just print automatically. And then you'll just print, place it onto your Cricut, cut it, and you are good to go. All right, I hope that just shows you how easy it was to take something from Canva and in Canva and then put it straight into your Cricut design space. If you're interested in learning how to make these, in Cricut Design Space, because you can do that in Cricut Design Space. It's a little bit, I'm going to say it's a little bit trickier. It's just a little bit more of a pain in the butt. If you're interested in that, then let me know because you can do it straight in Cricut Design Space. And remember, if you're interested in just cutting out the middleman, cutting out Canva and just getting the PNG files that you can upload straight away and get into your Cricut and just print and cut, I've got all of your boxes here, a lot of um, boxes, big boxes, all kinds of things in my planner shop on Etsy. So yeah, link is in the description if you want to just cut out the middleman and print and cut your own boxes without having to go into Canva. I do keep them kind of cheap. The prices will be going up in the new year. So if you're interested in getting those at the, the $2 rate, then go and get them now. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what other tutorials you want to see for Canva and Cricut. If you enjoyed this, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye!